Okay, I've rinsed out the pot that had the eggs in it. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up a little bit with water, and then we're going to go ahead and put our broccoli in here. And I used frozen broccoli, not fresh broccoli. Fresh broccoli would take, you know, two to five minutes less when boiling it, but since it's frozen, it'll take a few more minutes. And you just need enough water to barely cover the broccoli because once it starts cooking, it'll get, it'll shrivel up a little bit and there will be plenty of water that they have. Cook it on, cook it on medium high. All right, now the chicken is totally ready. So we can definitely turn that burner completely off and we're going to go ahead and check the rice now. All right, the rice has a few more minutes left, and I'm going to take the top off and just see how much it has come up. Get there doesn't seem to be any more water in there. So we're going to keep letting it cook through the time so that way it, um, it'll, it won't have any hard grains. While we wait on the rice to finish, should be dinging any time now, and the broccoli is on, we're going to go ahead and put the chicken into the little bowls over here, separate them for five days. One, two, three, four. I've got five. One, two, three, four, five in this into the refrigerator now because they have definitely cooled off and you can feel the bottom and it's not burning my hand. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit of salt into the broccoli. <laughs> and I'm going to actually measure it out because sometimes too much comes. And I am not even going to put a full tablespoon. I'm going to probably put half a tablespoon. And like I said before, if you bought fresh broccoli um, and cut it up yourself and everything, it would boil much quicker. But because this is frozen, it's taken a few more minutes. And the rice should be dinging right now. Maybe my dinger. There it goes. All right, in our case, the rice did taste completely finished so we're going to go ahead and put them into our little bowls. I like to measure out the rice just to make sure because sometimes you can over over put rice. Uncup bowl and just kind of put it in there. Remember you still have to put broccoli in there and it'll look like these are being filled up fast but it's okay if it all touches. It all kind of tastes like a stir fry when it's done. And with three cups, 
cups of rice, you're definitely going to get more than five, five, I mean, with five, I'm sorry, with um, three cups of raw rice, you're going to get more than five cups of cooked rice. What I like to do is I have all this extra. I like to put it into the refrigerator. That way, if I need rice for anything during the week, it's already made. There and now the broccoli is completely ready. It has been boiling actually for a few minutes now. I'm going to turn that off. Now I'm going to strain the broccoli with the same strainer that I used for the fruit, but I did rinse it off. in the pot, you can add it to them after. All right, there's a little bit left in here. And I did cook five cups of frozen broccoli in these, but nice about when it's frozen it's much bigger and when it cooks it's smaller so it, it definitely is enough all right now here are your finished meal prep bowls and instead of letting them right away you can still see all the steam coming off Probably let them sit on the counter for about five minutes. And I just turned the burner off over there and let the steam come out. And I like to try it before I, you know, finish cooking it because sometimes with brown rice, um, it just, sometimes you'll just get the hard little grain in there and all it would take is just to put the lid back on it and simmer it for another five or ten minutes. All right there you have it. You have your five daily meals and your eggs and your fruit and it's a very good way to keep lunch quick and nutritious and we followed the my plate guidelines. We have some fruit, the grains, the protein, and the vegetables and for dairy you can always drink a smoothie or just a plain glass of milk. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching my meal prep. I appreciate it.